Division at key stage one simply means that we are dividing a number into groups. Okay, so the children are splitting a total number into smaller groups and finding out either how many groups or how many within a group. Okay, different terminology for division. We use sharing or how many lots of, how many equal groups of. When we look at a dividing sum, we encourage the children to take the first number and that tells them how many objects to get. So here we have 12 buttons. Okay. This obviously tells us to divide, to share, to find groups of or sets of or lots of. And this number here tells me that I need two sets or two groups. You can do this at home with any kind of objects like pencils, Lego bricks, buttons. So the children are physically moving them into two groups themselves. Once the objects have been divided into two sets, the children then are encouraged to count how many in a set. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the children can say 12 divided by 2 equals 6. So once we know that 12 divided by 2 equals 6, we would ask the children to look at the number that we have divided it by. So originally we divided by 2 and the answer was 6. Now we can swap the answer with the number that we divided it by. And this time if we divided it into 6 groups, we would have 2. So these two numbers, these two digits, would swap around. So if I've got 12, I would divide it into 6 groups and I would get 2 in each group. So 12 divided by 2 equals 6, or 12 divided by 6 equals 2. So children can then see the relationship between the two sums. Another way of looking at division is by encouraging the children to use what they know about multiplication. So if we know that 12 divided by 2 means 12 into groups of 2, or into groups of 6, giving you the answer of 2, we could actually say, how many 2s are there in 12? Okay, so the children could count from 2s up to 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and get the answer of 6. We can show this on, a num on an empty number line. So if we started at zero and we count in twos up to twelve, each time adding two. children can see that I've got 12 and they're in groups of two and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six groups. When the children are confident with the steps we've just shown, we like to teach them the terminology inverse. Okay, This simply means to go back and do the opposite. Okay, so the inverse sum to 12 divided by 2 equals 6 would be 6 times 2 equals 12. Okay, 6 times 2 equals 12. Eventually, the children have a really good understanding of multiplication and division. And just using one sum, we can generate four different sums. So if I started with 12 divided by 2 equals 6, we also know that 12 divided by 6 would equal 2. We also would know that 2 lots of 6 would equal 12, and that 6 lots of 2 also equal 12. We can also use multiplication and division to help children to halve and double. Okay, and this is directly related to the multiplication and division that we've just been speaking about. Children, by the end of Key Stage 1, should know that to half would mean to split into two groups. So they can relate halving to dividing by two. So if we looked at the simple sum 10 
divide it by two, the children would be able to do that simply on their fingers. They, if not, could also use um, cubes or any kind of objects to split into two groups. But we would hope by the end of Key Stage 1 that children would know that half of 10 equals 5. If we now look at doubling, this is the exact opposite of halving. Doubling means to find two lots of a number, and we know lots of is another way of saying multiply. So if I had two lots of five, we can do that with our fingers again. Two lots of five equals ten. Okay, this is a direct inverse sum to the halving. So if we get a number and we halve it, we can put it back together again by doubling. We also encourage the children to understand doubling as a repeated addition as well. So if we have two lots of five, that can also be known as five add five.